Jose. Uh, y'all give it up for Jose. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> My name is OC. Don't ask me what the OC stands for, unless you plan on putting me in your will or buying me a beer. I could really use a beer right now. It's been a long week. I'm exhausted. There's usually one place I like to go after a long, hard week place to go to relax. It's also a place where I always bring my first dates when I'm trying to impress them. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, they allow you two drinks there. That's why I always get hammered before I go in there. It's a lot like Vegas without all those annoying strippers that bother you while you're trying to relax and play the games. I've been borrowing my friend's kids, you know, just so I can get in there. It's kind of getting old though, they keep eating all my food, taking up all my gas money. Oh man, I need all my gas money, I need the money for all my tokens I need to buy. And I, I gotta figure out how can I get in there by myself without looking like a creep. I mean, I don't want to work there. Uh, too much of a good thing is never okay. So I decided I'm just gonna get my own kid, and that's what I did. So I waited patiently, nine long months, for my daughter to arrive from Africa. <laughs> she has my eyes, luckily. Uh, I never really wanted to have a kid, but uh, I always wanted to be part of the CECIC, the uh, Chuck E. Cheese Insiders Club. It's just a private club for adults. I never, uh, actually I was gonna have a kid once, but uh, that plan got foiled uh, because of the abortion. Uh, it was her pimp's fault, uh, so don't blame me. Don't get mad at me. I never loved my African daughter's mom, but uh, we we try to keep it cordial because uh, you never know when I'm going to see her at the family reunion. Uh, did you know that uh, Chuck and Cheese mascot is a mouse? I think that's why they have that inner tube system where all the kids crawl through. I went up there one time. I almost spilled my beer. I was crawling in there. I got stuck. Yeah. Jerry, the manager, he had to call the fire department to get me out of there. It took nearly four hours because I asked him to take pictures for Facebook for me. And uh, two chainsaws to get me out of there. They told me I had to give them my pizza, too. I was like, I paid 65 bucks for this large meat lover's pizza. I'm not giving you my pizza. So anyways, I'm at the ER talking to the cop. You know, he's asking me a few questions. Yeah, he asked me my name first. He's, uh, you know, but I tried to play off the whole, you know, amateur comedian celebrity thing. I'm like, uh, don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? He's like, no. My name is right there on that license you asked me for. So anyways, uh, the hardest thing about being a celebrity is actually telling people you're a celebrity. A couple weeks later, I finally got healed and I, uh, I went back to Chuck E. Cheese to get my mail. And uh, I got a, a letter from my doctor. It was the letter G. I unfolded it and it said, Good morning, OC. I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, one time I um, saw this kid playing at the dealer no, no Deal Machine. I think he was one of Jerry's kids, manager. Uh, I wanted to play. He wouldn't let me play. And I asked him, Hey, kid, let me play this game. I'll give you 20 bucks. He, deal or no deal? He said, no deal. I said, all right, kid, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you let me play. Deal or no deal? He said, I'll tell you what, old man, you give me a hundred tokens and I'll let you play. Deal or no deal? So I told him Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny weren't real. I'm just kidding. I told him Santa Claus and God weren't real. He said, I know. The bastard still wouldn't let me play. I had to wait till closing time to play. One time I put my arm around in that uh, cotton candy machine and I was heading out to the door to my car and uh, these kids, they started running up to me and they, they started licking on my arm and I said, kids, that's inappropriate. I'm trying to take a piss. And every time I go out to my car, I always think to myself, you know, I just blew my whole paycheck here. 
I could have made a car payment. And then I think to myself, <laughs> luckily, my car is stolen. You know, my African daughter, she's nine now, I think. That's what she keeps telling me. And all I can think is seven more years, seven more years, seven more years, and she can finally work here at Chuck and Cheese, and I can get that employee discount. Yeah, I've been looking at scholarships for her and everything. I was in my underwear one day, and I was going through my spam folder, and I saw this college in Wisconsin, the Cheese College. I gotta tell you, it took them about 45 minutes before they finally kicked me out of the library. I think they have an anti-cheese college looking up scholarship thing. You know, all this talk about cheese, I'm, I'm starting to get withdrawals, I'm starting to get depressed. I think I'm gonna stop, start talking about something more enlightening. Suicide. If I can't make it to Chuck and Cheese tonight, the suicide's going down. Thank you. I take this for my Facebook friends too, so hi Facebook friends. <laughs>